Well, they make that annoying sound, and drivers just hate going over them. But these metal plates are extra irritating because they're extra big. Thousands of drivers go over these plates on Peachtree near Lindbergh in Atlanta every day. Fox House Morris Diggs has a look at these irritating plates and how long they're going to stick around. Morse? Well, these plates are larger than Shaq. Uh, the pair of metal plates, if you travel this route, you know about it. But if you don't, it becomes as a big surprise as you roll over them. And then we're going to pan in and show you that the plate is so large, it goes over the lane marker, making it especially dangerous. If you were just listening without picture, the sound might remind you of the beginning of a rock anthem. A drum beat from a one night concert would be tolerable. Tell me, tell me about that noise. This noise is driving people crazy. The noise heard by neighbors living in the heart of Buckhead goes on night after night due to two monster metal plates left by a city sewer crew. They are so large, the sharp edges extend out into the next lane far enough to potentially pierce the sidewall of your tire. I think it's been at least since February. Make you a little nervous? Yes, and it's not good for my car. A spokesperson for watershed management told me a big water leak requires big plates. The repairs have been done, but they cannot move the plates, not yet. And all that's left is the asphalt topping um, to, to, to finish this repair on the street. Now, of course, that leaves the metal plates behind until then, uh, and we understand that those are noisy. We've got only a couple crews who do that asphalt topping. But this neighbor doesn't want to put up with noise one night longer. All night long I hear this. At first I thought, is that a gunshot? And then I thought, I never heard a gunshot. So then it was raining one day and I thought, gee, that's really thundering out there. It wasn't, it was this. So the problem out here is that from time to time these plates will really shift. The spokesperson says when someone's traveling too fast and they come on the plate and then they break, that moves the plate. At one point, they had to put a police officer out here with the blue lights just so people would go around. Okay, so when will the plates come up? Well, she says it'll be about another two weeks. So if you live on this block here, put your earplugs in so you can get some rest. It's a joke. Reporting live from Buckhead, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News.